Well, welcome back, YouTube Pipe Smokers. This is Spurgeon Piper, and I am joining you uh, for a tobacco reviews today over Sutliff Coffee. Now, uh, before we get started with the review, uh, today's a little special day. First time ever I was actually am smoking in my office. Um, it won't be a habit. I'm doing it for two reasons. Uh, one, I'm short on time of getting a review out, and I wanted to do it here while I have no distractions. And two, it is an aromatic blend, and it will fade away, not leave much of a, of a nasty residue smell. I won't do this often, so if ever I have any members of my church see this, um, just know this is the only time I've ever done it, and probably the only time I ever will. Um, one other thing, I probably will be cutting down my videos to two a week. I just don't have time to keep up with three. I'm going to lose content eventually or ideas for content and I don't want that to happen anytime soon. So um, going forward I'll probably only have about two a week. Occasionally there might be an additional one if I have time or have a a, a topic that I want to really quickly cover. Uh, so um, Wednesdays usually I'll have a review and then Fridays, probably Fridays, maybe Mondays, but probably Fridays I'll I'll come out with a, an additional video with an additional topic. Um, so just bear that in mind. So I hope you guys are doing well uh, this week. Hope things are going well. It looks like we might have some shutdowns coming up again. Um, I'm not sure what that looks like for you. Uh, for us, hopefully we don't have much change, but it's looking like it. So we'll see what happens. All right, so before we get started, also uh, I'm smoking out of my uh, Peterson Aran. This is uh, one of the first um, pipes that I got from an estate, estate sale or estate buy purchase, and it needs to be cleaned up. I never really cleaned the outside of it up well, um, but uh, I use it only for aromatic blends, which is what we're covering today with Sutliff Coffee. Um, now, I think this is the first aromatic I've covered. My, my memory is choppy right now, and there's not much really to cover on it. I'm not looking at tobacco reviews for many notes. It's put out by the Sutliff, um, Sutliff Tobacco Company, and it is a Virginia Cavendish blend, uh, nothing fancy there, and it has a coffee uh, casing um, or, or topping with it. I think it's, I think it's a casing. Um, go figure. It's an aromatic. And it is quite wet. Um, you're you're going to have to dry it out, just about like every other one. Um, it's not goopy, however. So I, I, I definitely have tried some that are quite goopy when you get to the bottom. This will leave some moisture, but it's it's something too, too horrible that you have to watch out for. Um, but, uh, but a little bit of drying time will, will do you well. So I picked this blend to review. Uh, the reason I purchased it, honestly, was to review for one reason, for you guys to get some um, variety in my reviews, and then also just to try something different. So I only purchased an ounce for this from smokingpipes.com. That, that's all I got. I, I purchased several one ounce varieties. And as someone who enjoys coffee, which I'm drinking coffee with this right now. Um, this was sounding enticing. Uh, I would like to have a a uh, blend that tasted like coffee or was somewhat in a relation to it. So twice when I first smoked this, I thought um, I need to clean my pipe. It was it was tasting quite bitter, and then I realized Wilson, it's a uh, it's coffee, it's bitter, and and it, that really is the case. It, it, it's not because of my pipe or anything. It's it does have a bitterness to it, which doesn't sound appealing, but it really does give it that coffee um, uh, character. And that might be where it ends with its coffee notes. Um, I, I'm not really coming forth with, there's a slight coffee flavor to it, 
um, and it, it would be more of a, a flavored coffee. So don't think you're getting a black coffee uh, tobacco blend with this. It is a uh, at the very least one with creamer and, and sweetener or, or sugar. That's that's what we're getting. Uh, maybe like a vanilla coffee. Maybe a vanilla latte or something like that, possibly. And, and, and with the retro hill, it, it does bring out more of the coffee notes. Um, so I'm, I'm actually surprised with this as the more I, I, I smoked it and got familiar with it and used the retro hill. The coffee character does come out more. Um, so I kind of have to back up with what I just said earlier. Um, giving time, given time, it, it does uh, make itself aware um, the character does of that coffee coffee flavoring. So that there's not much more to say on this. It's an aromatic blend. They're usually not that um, there's there's not much really to cover with aromatic blends, especially ones that are one dimensional with one type of flavoring. Um, this is one of those. Uh, it's it's what you get or what you see is what you get. It does have that coffee notes, a little bit of vanilla. Um, the sweetness from the Virginias is evident. Maybe a hint of brown sugar, maybe from the Cavendish. But uh, it is, it's, it's pleasant. Um, if you're an aromatic guy, I think you'll r really enjoy this. Um, if you're not someone who smokes aromatics, Maybe for a change of pace, it'd be something you're interested in. Uh, this is something I've, since I've had it, I've had it for about um, two months. I've smoked it several times just out of enjoyment, um, just for something different. Um, and after lunch and after dinner, smoke for something unique and sweet. And that has just a bit of bitterness. Um, so it's like coffee in that regard. Um, so I think you'll enjoy it. If I gave it a, a score for me, it would probably be about a six out of 10. Um, it's an aromatic, so it's not going to score real high for me. Uh, if you're an aromatic person, it would probably score uh, a point and a half, two points higher than that. Maybe, maybe that might be being, that might be a little, um, a little kind, but it, it's a, it's a good blend, especially for a, a bulk blend. It's pretty low cost. Um, it's it's something that's quite different and, and it's enjoyable. I, I can't say anything negative about it. Um, it's going to get a little hot on you if you don't smoke slowly and carefully. So bear that in mind like most aromatics. Uh, guys, that's all I have on this blend. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments. And be sure to leave me some questions and answers or Q&As or I should say questions for a Q&A video that I'll be doing before too long again. So uh, I, I enjoy those and it might give you a little something different to, to uh to watch. So y'all have a great week, guys. Um, y'all take care and we'll talk to you soon.